Okay, first you gotta go to BS Manager website. BSManager.io Select Download BS Manager. Open the setup. You select your Steam library as installations folder. It's normally found in C programs x86 Steam Steam apps common. You select this folder. Now you just click on the add version button down here. And then you click on the gear icon in the top right. Click import a version. And it's not an Oculus version. And then you just go into wherever your currently used Beat Saber installation is. I'm just going to go into the Steam library and pick the um, default Beat Saber installation. And then you click select folder. Now I have a Beat Saber installation here. If I click on it, click on the gear item, edit, you'd call it the version number. 1.40.4 test okay now this is the version <coughs> that you're gonna use and then you go on the gear icon click shared folders and here you click add folder select the user data folder out of your Beat Saber installation and click select and then you, you just click, uh, click link all here the other folders if you go to maps you can share maps and playlists they are quick icons you don't have to add these mods uh, these folders manually that they are shared here you can share avatars sabers platforms and blocks yeah and here you have the mods tab you can just um select which mods do you want to install like with every other mod manager as well it has a search function there you can just look for noodle extensions yeah and select that click install or, or update now you can select launch conditions select fpfc mode and just enter the game and control it with keyboard and mouse yeah whatever that shit is yeah now you can just control it with the WASD, you can move around and just use the game without the VR headset connected and to see if shit is working and the mods are showing up. Yeah. Then you click on the gear icon, click create shortcut, create shortcut. And now you have a shortcut to the to this BS version on your screen. And you did not sign into your Steam account with BS Manager, since I highly recommend never sign into any third party tool with your Steam account, since that is just a giant a security risk. Right, Rudy? <laughs> Now you can close BS Manager and you can just uh, use that um, this shortcut here on your desktop to launch the game. And it will not even have BS Manager running in the background. <laughs> GG, easy. So this way you get your you got your um, currently um, installed version into BS Manager. And you can then just uh, get the latest version from Steam and import that latest version from Steam here and just do the same. Enable that it use a shares old folders and then you will have all your settings, all your mod settings from your old 1.29.1 installation into uh, in your current um, game version and don't have to set up anything manually. 
went for mods like um, Beat Saber Plus that are not listed in the mod manager you have in the mods tab. A download uh, import mod button. If you click that, it says drag and drop your mods here. And you can just go in your downloads folder. I probably I most likely have Beat Saber Plus here. Yeah. I can just drag and drop the Beat Saber Plus zip file here. And now if I launch the game in FPFC mode. Hello, firewall rule. Now I have um, multiplayer plus and Beat Saber plus installed and all my settings are automatically in that version as you can see by the menu environment, the particles are gone and shit like that. Once you did add your 1.29.1 1 and shared the user data folder and the other folders and then you installed the current version and, and enabled the linked folders there as well you should uncheck the linked folders for your old version because you're most likely gonna screw some mod configuration files if you're sharing them um, back to 1.29.1 again so you just go into your old um, installation click shared folders and you just unlink all of them or maybe you leave car you can leave custom levels so this way you have only um, normally you have only once um, installed your custom songs all your custom models and it's in a sim link folder that is located in bs manager shared content here you have um you have these folders where the original files are so updating your game this way is just super easy because you just get the latest version from steam then you import that version into bs manager and just enable that uh, the shared folders for it and then you can mod it with the mod manager from bs manager and gg <laughs> My name is Giovanni Giorgio, but everybody calls me Giorgio. <laughs>